Hey guys, Matt Beck from freesaloneducation.com and I am here to chat with you guys about another business tip, but also, you know, this is really just in-depth look at what you can do with your salon software that you're probably not currently doing. Um, the thing I like about uh, this industry and what I've really been able to so far create is that I love technology, I love computers, I love uh, developing things like that, and I, I love doing hair as well, so it, this has kind of worked out. This is like a dream come true job, but um, I think most salon, salons and salon owners are not taking full advantage. Most people, the big questions I get are, how do I look up this report or what am I doing? Because most people just don't take full advantage of their software. So I wanna tell you about some things that I do, uh, and this is one thing that um, a long time ago, we were about to have a party for the salon, uh, like a big holiday party or uh, anniversary party or something. This is before I owned the salon. And it was like, who do, we in who do you invite? Who who's gonna come to your party? Well, the, the thing was said, well, let's invite the top 25 or top 50 people. And now like thinking back on that, that's not, the top 25, top 50 people, those are the people spending the most money in your business. You, that's obviously the people you want to cater to, but think about those middle range people. Maybe not the people that come in once a year, but the people that are pretty loyal to your book. But those are the people that you need to inspire to come in more often that are actually gonna transform your business. The people that are already your top spenders are the ones that are maxing out their frequency of visit, their rebooking, all of that is already maxed out. We gotta figure out how to get that mid range uh, group of our salon guests to jump on board with the top spenders. How do we do that? So let's look at when you pull up a report, uh, the one for revenue analysis is the MA235 report. Um, so I'll print that out and I'll look at who is my top spender people. And then after you get past that 50, it's like, all right, let's look at the trends that are happening. Why is so-and-so, why is Kathy my number one spending guest? Why, what is she doing differently than the mid-range people? So just start analyzing your salon and figuring that out. I know right now my top people are because they come in more often, because they take advantage of more services. It's the obvious things, but what are we doing in our business to get those mid-range people to want to come in more often, to want to reschedule before they leave and, and you know, kind of work it that way. So just next time you have a, a party or anything, or you're just looking to send out thank you letters, think about those people in the mid-range because they're the ones that are, you know, also pushing your business and, and growing your business and I think, we need to figure out how to cater to them to get them to be you know, spenders as well. So I hope that this tip helped you. If you guys have any tips, please leave them below. Uh, we're looking to grow together. That's what this is all about. Uh, my name is Matt Beck from freesaloneducation.com. Make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Facebook at freesaloneducation.com and we will keep this going and keep growing together. Thanks guys, I'll see you on the next video.